My name is Carrie Stanovich. I am having done BBL and liposuction in my upper abdomen, lower abdomen, behind my bra line, and that's it. Um, I, my expectations are just to have a more shaped waistline and get rid of some of these fat cells. I chose to have it done because I have resistant areas that I cannot get rid of no matter how hard I try to work out and diet correctly. I chose Infany after seeing everybody's results on Infany.com's website and seeing people I know that have came here and gotten their liposuction done and I like loved all the results that I saw. Hi, my name is Dr. William Hall and uh, I'm a cosmetic surgeon here in Scottsdale, Arizona, specializing in fat removal and fat transfers to anywhere really on the body that uh, someone needs uh, excess volume. Today on this young lady, we're going to be performing a somewhat comprehensive procedure. We're going to be doing lipo 360 all the way around the midsection, including the intercostal fat pad, that little ridge on the um, rib cage. Uh, we're gonna be doing the flanks, which is that bra fat back here. The pubic or fupa region that uh, really bothers a lot of girls, especially when they bring their abdomen down, and then they find out that their pubic area kind of sticks out or stands out. After that, uh, uh, we're all gonna, we're gonna also do the chin area um, so that uh, she has a little bit more, you know, tight look and photos, especially from the side. Then we're going to finish the abdomen and the chin area off with a procedure called J-plasma or Renuvion. Basically it uses a, a, somewhat like a laser for all intents and purposes, but super intense heat source underneath the skin to cause the skin to just contract and pull back. Kind of like the effect you get when you light a match near a piece of plastic. The plastic just shrivels up. Same thing with the soft tissue inside. We use in a heat source after lipo to get everything to kind of come in as much as possible. Then the final step of this procedure today will be the finale of taking the fat that we've harvested, the purified good fat globules, and then transferring into a more usable place, recycling if you will, putting them into her buttock region to give her more shape and form. See hardly, literally no blood loss with this procedure. I mean, scant, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon at the most. In her case, not even that. Now, we are gonna do J plasma, the same thing on the tummy. All of that heat in there is just 
giving us good skin contraction. Kind of jumps around in there because it searches for anything semi-solid, which is the connective tissue fibers. Connective tissue, when I say connective tissue, that's the fibers that remain after lipo that kind of like the comb and honeycomb. You know, you open up a honeycomb and you got the nice honey, which is the fat cells, but there's compartmentalized in all these little tiny compartments, which is the comb. Same thing in here, there's connective tissue that divides up and that tissue is remaining. It's kind of like dental floss. Um, and when this energy hits that connective tissue, it causes those fibers to just pull in. Kind of like lighting a match near a piece of plastic. It just contracts. Okay, so now we're gonna start the fat transfer process. You'll see different doctors doing it in different ways. She you know, automatically pumps the fat in. I like this way. I've, I've used all the methods before. I, I still like the hand methods. So I'll, I'll put fat in with this method, and then I'll use my suction, fine tune a little bit, just kind of go back and forth. So you'll see this just kind of pop out. Each one of these syringes is 60 cc's, 60 milliliters. You know, everybody talks about, oh, I had this, or my girlfriend had this mega transfer and all this. That's great, but really the only thing that matters it's not how much a doctor puts in, it's how much it survives. Uh, on average here, we probably get 80% survival of our fat grass. Just a simple suture. These will be the only incision sites we close up, or just the two on the sides of her hip. The rest of them you can see, they're so small, but we want them to stay open and drain. They're just tiny, and they'll just close up nicely. Some people can see them for a while afterwards, but most people, they just kind of go away. So we just finished. Um, with Carrie, it went awesome. I mean, better than I thought. We just got really good fat off. Uh, the best kind of fat for transfer. She was amazing. I don't think I had to put in more anesthesia maybe one time. I mean, she just was really tough and, and um, was prepared for it. But uh, uh, we put in about, how much did we put in, Sherry? Uh, we put in 1,680. So about, about 800 cc's off on each side of the buttock, so about a 1.6 liter transfer. Um, it's gonna really pop. And then we really were able to pull that abdomen in with that J plasma and the chin as well. So uh, I personally couldn't be happier with the way it went today, so I hope she is as well. Good morning, I'm feeling really, really good. And it's on days a week into it. I'm happiest with everything. It exceeded my expectations. I'm very, very, very happy. The whole process was very, very smooth on a one to 10, I would say like nine. And, or even 10, because it was that easy. So my surgery went I did it on a Friday and two days later I was back at work doing hair on my feet for eight, nine hours in one day. So that in itself shocked me that I could, because I was, I was expecting to possibly cut out half my day and leave back home, but I didn't have to do that. Being awake during surgery was surreal, it was really cool to see everything, how everything went down and Dr. Hall explained everything as he was doing it and made me feel at ease. I didn't feel anything, no discomfort. I, so whatever they gave me, um, it was, I didn't feel anything during that time. 
This is the happiest for sure, because as you age, getting older, things, you, no matter how hard you try working out, are resistant. So with this surgery, I've realized this is the only way I was gonna get myself back to the way I wanted to look. Do wish I would've done it sooner. And I'm gonna probably be back for more. <laughs>